Picture this scenario. You're in an interview and the interviewer asks, describe a situation where you had to gather information from multiple sources. How did you determine which information was most important? Now you might be wondering why this question is so common. It's because employers want to understand your research and analytical capabilities. They are interested in knowing how you handle information overload, how you separate the wheat from the chaff, and how you prioritize relevant information. They want to see your decision-making process in action, how you navigate through complex situations, and arrive at a conclusion. It's not just about finding the information, it's about what you do with it. So when you're faced with this question, remember, it's your chance to demonstrate your analytical prowess, your discernment, and your decision-making skills. So this question is not just about your research skills, it's about your decision-making process and your ability to prioritize. Now you know what the question is about, but what is it really trying to reveal? It's more than just a test of your research skills. This question is a window into your ability to handle complexity, make informed decisions, and solve problems. When an interviewer asks you to describe a situation where you had to gather information from multiple sources, they're not just interested in your research prowess. They're keen to understand how you prioritize information, how you synthesize data from various sources, and how you apply this information to make sound decisions. As for potential variations of the question, they could ask, tell us about a time when you had to make a decision based on information from various sources, or how have you used data from different sources to solve a problem? Remember, this question is an opportunity to demonstrate your analytical skills, your ability to make informed decisions, and your capacity to handle complex tasks. Knowing the purpose of the question is one thing, but how do you answer it effectively? This is where the art of crafting the perfect response comes into play. Let's start by highlighting the key elements to include in your response. First, describe the situation in which you had to gather information from multiple sources. It could be a project at work or a challenge you faced at school. Second, explain how you determined which information was most important. Here, you can talk about your analytical skills, your ability to prioritize, and your decision-making process. Lastly, discuss the outcome. What happened as a result of your actions? This is your chance to showcase your problem-solving skills and the positive impact of your decisions. Now, let's look at some examples. A good response might sound like this. In my previous role, I was tasked with leading a project that required information from various departments. I used a combination of data analysis and team input to determine which information was most critical. The project was completed on time and under budget, which resulted in a significant cost saving for the company. On the other hand, a less effective response might be, I once had to gather information from different sources for a project. I just picked the most important ones and it worked out fine. This response lacks detail and doesn't demonstrate any specific skills or successful outcomes. The difference lies in the detail. The first response shows a clear process of gathering and analyzing information, decision making and a positive outcome. The second response, however, lacks specificity and doesn't convey any particular skills or achievements. Remember, your goal is to impress your interviewer, and that means showing off your skills and experiences in the best possible light. Your response should be a story that paints a picture of you as a proactive problem solver, a critical thinker, and an effective decision maker. Your response should be a clear demonstration of your problem solving skills your ability to gather and analyze information and your decision-making process. So take the time to prepare and practice your response. It could be the difference between a job offer and a missed opportunity. Let's take a moment to consolidate what we've learned. We've delved into the intricacies of the interview question. Describe a situation where you had to gather information from multiple sources. How did you determine which information was most important? We've understood that it's not just about the data collection, but also about how you prioritize and make decisions. We've also explored various ways this question could be asked, emphasizing the essence of the inquiry rather than its exact wording. We highlighted the key elements to include in your response, the situation, your action, and the result. We've seen examples of both effective and ineffective responses, understanding the reasoning behind why one works and the other doesn't. The aim is to demonstrate your analytical skills, decision-making abilities, and problem-solving prowess. Remember, every question in an interview is a chance to showcase your skills and abilities. Prepare well, be confident, and you'll ace it. Thank you for watching. 
If you found value in today's video, please hit that subscribe button for more helpful content. Got questions or ideas? Comment below or connect with me on LinkedIn, especially if you're exploring opportunities or hiring. Remember, it only takes one opportunity to transform your career journey. Keep striving and stay optimistic. Your persistence will pay off. Peace and success to you.